with a group of uh, colleagues, uh, what we did was uh, to go through today's available evidence on is there a difference in clinical activity of pegflograstin compared to filgrastin. Because guidelines today say pegflograstin and filgrastin are the same, provided you use filgrastin as per label, i.e. for 11 days. Reality is, as we reviewed, uh, that the majority of doctors use filgrastin by the box, i.e. they prescribe five days. And there is a certain amount of data to show that five days doesn't give the same protection as going through Nadir as the registration trials showed for filgrastin. So the single injection, once 24 hours after the chemotherapy, after 72 hours after the chemotherapy, of pegflograstin, long-acting filgrastin, will cover the patient through that period. And if we look at all the available data, comparing to 11 days or to five days, uh, the actual usage of uh, filgrastin, there is less febrile neutropenia uh, in patients treated with pegflograstin, except a couple of studies. So we don't have a full explanation for this observation, but it's clearly there. So then we reviewed also other indications uh, for pegflograstin, which are not on the label. Uh, we, of course, uh, uh, cannot uh, come with final suggestions because most of these studies are relatively limited, but they suggest that there are quite a few other clinically important indications for the use of pegflograstin. So this is discussed in the poster and in the paper that we'll uh, soon have out. And we suggest that the guidelines committees take into account all of this evidence uh, in order to suggest that, uh, if feasible, uh, pegflograstin is probably a much better choice. And also, if you look at the patient's opinion, uh, there's no doubt that patients will say, give me one injection, doctor, not 11.